Hi you guys, it's Dee Dee. This is Cooking at the Lake House. And today I have something for all ages, kids, grown-ups, if you just want to make homemade butter. Now, all you'll need is a jar that can tighten. Now with the little kids, you can use the baby food jars because their hands are smaller. Um, and then heavy whipping cream. And this is what we're gonna do. So this is science you can eat. How fun is that? And before I get started, I forgot my handy dandy lab coat. You can't have science without a lab coat. So what you will want to do is open up your heavy cream. Now do not use milk. It will not work. I'm just throwing that out there. But what you're going to want to do is Fill it about halfway. Oh, I love science. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna put the lid on tight because you do not want it to go all over the place. <laughs> so to make butter, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start shaking. The cream gets agitated, stirs up, so that the fat molecules get out of position they get out of their normal position. And after a while, it, everything will clump together. The molecules, uh, after enough agitation, agitation, will cling together and form a lump of butter and leaving buttermilk behind. How awesome is that? So let's get to it. We're gonna shake for about uh, five to 20 minutes. So, you're getting your, your workout done. Oh. Let's jump, let's jump. If you're skilled like me at making homemade butter, you can do it one-handed. Gonna shake, shake, shake. Shake your body. Shake, shake, shake. Making science. And look at that. How fantastic does that look? Oh, you can smell it. it, smells so good. Now it's starting to clump together. That's what you're looking for. Keep going. Tighten those abs. Oh, I cannot believe I did this on one of the most humid days, by the way. Whew. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour the butter right in here, okay? And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna make sure that all that butter out is, if there's any, there should be a little bit. And then what I like to do is have cold water. I like to run it over your homemade butter. Okay, now you guys, is this gonna be the moment of truth? Look at this, look at this guys. This is science you can eat. How fun is that? Now this uh, homemade butter is of course unsalted. If you want salt, you can definitely add some. What I like to do is if it's two cups, of a butter that I have, I like to put in a half teaspoon. Um, for heavy, a one-fourth teaspoon if you want it lightly um, salted. Okay, so if you keep in the fridge, you can definitely have it for like seven to 10 days. Um, if you have it out on the counter, I personally would not recommend that, but some people do like it. Uh, you can do it for three to five days in certain room temperatures. So just be cautious on that. It will spoil a lot faster. All right. We'll tell next time, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed science. Mad science you can eat.